guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about how to get toned for spring break spring break is coming up in a few weeks i know for a lot of you mine is in three weeks and i feel like even if it is a little early i feel like the earlier that you start the better results you're gonna get let's jump into it first tip is to do some hit cardio hit cardio is high intensity interval training and it's doing things like running as fast as you can for 30 seconds and then stopping for 30 seconds and doing that for 10 15 minutes and that's the best way to burn fat or if you really really hate running just you can't stand it you could always just increase your list which is your low intensity steady state it's doing things like walking more and going on hikes and stuff like that um, I try to do at least 10,000 steps a day I have a tracker on my phone that counts the steps I know it's probably not always accurate because it does count steps from my bedroom to the kitchen but at least it's something you know those are really good fat burners to kind of get your body weight down I will link some people down below that you can go watch that do really good fat burner workouts that are, are, are good for right before spring break. The next one is to eat healthy. It's pretty self-explanatory or it's pretty obvious, but I don't think a lot of people really understand what that means. You should definitely cut down on sugar, which is things like um, soda, chocolate, cake, cookies, all that, you know, the obvious stuff. But I also think that people don't realize that there's a lot of sugar in things like fruit. I'm not saying cut, up, cut down fruit, but I'm saying definitely eat fruit in moderation because things like bananas and things like um, apples have a lot, a lot of sugar in them. The best fruit to buy that is um, good for you and that is low in sugar is berries. So things like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, those are really, really good for you and they're low in sugar content. The next one is if you're of age, then cut down on alcohol. You're allowed to go out with your friends and hang out. Um, but maybe you should maybe not go for the beer instead because beers are incredibly calorie dense. But go instead maybe for a gin and tonic. Just don't stick to um, beers and just high calorie, de high calorie drinks. Just again, do your research on what you think is best for you. Tip number three is drink more water. You're, you're looking really puffy right now, but if you were to drink more water, maybe it's just water weight. Maybe you're just really, really bloated. And so when you start to drink more water, you're, the water kind of flushes out all that salt and all those that toxins and your body doesn't hold to the water as much so you'll end up feeling less puffy and you also your skin will get a lot better your hair will get so much better um, water and all is really really good for you number four is to be in a calorie deficit so a calorie deficit is expending more calories than what is going into your body what I suggest doing for the next few weeks is tracking your meals. I know it might not sound very healthy mentally to do so because some people really get into an obsessive mentality about it, but just see um, how many calories you eat on average and just kind of focus a little more on what you're putting into your body and um, maybe try to focus more on trying to work that off. It doesn't mean that if you eat 500 calorie breakfast, then you're, you're gonna have to spend that before lunch. Your body does so many, so many things to burn those calories. So it doesn't mean that if you eat a, you know, five, 600 calorie breakfast that you're gonna need to burn it off before lunch. I will link my top 10 fitness misconception below and in the card here or here, um, it gives you a really good explanation of what calorie deficits are and how they work and what to do when you're in one and stuff like that. So I highly suggest that you check it out. And my fifth and last tip is to honestly not care. You're going on a vacation for a week and I don't think a lot of people are going to be really focusing on your body and what you look like. I think people are, are there to have fun and to enjoy themselves. So I wouldn't put too much thought into it, 
I would just be there for the memories and try not to focus too hard on exercising or eating a lot before spring break. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and we'll see you in my next video.